What's going on, y'all? So um. <laughs> Hi. Um. This is American Horror Story, double feature, season ten, episode ten. Uh, what is this called? Um, the Future Project, or I should say, the Future Perfect. First of all, I am tired. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if that's what it is or the fact that I truly did not like this season, this part two season, okay? Because after this episode, I literally found myself watching it like, what? I'm sorry. And usually I get on here and I try to give y'all all the energies that I could give. Like I said, I'm extremely exhausted. Uh, yesterday took a lot out of me and not just because I had to stay up and do those reviews because that's a choice that I made. It was because a lot of stuff that was going on at work had basically just took me out. And so I'm still trying to catch up on sleep. That's why I haven't done the what it is yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow. But, um, because I came home and I just tried to take a nap and it just didn't work. So I am tired and a lot of my energy went to my other review because I actually liked that episode of that show. This show, I don't know what the hell happened in this part two. Now, see, I tried. I tried. I tried to come on here with a positive outlook. But, baby, I just didn't like it. And that's all the conclusion that I can come to. So, if the review is not up to par, I apologize. It's just that I can't give what I don't have. <laughs> And I don't want to leave y'all hanging, baby. I don't want to leave y'all hanging, okay? Like I said, this is the finale of the season 10. I truly feel like this season 10 could have been so much better. Yes, I know we were in a pandemic and I know certain things probably got in the way, but it's not just that. It's like the storytelling. Everything was just so lackluster. And I'm not even finna be lying. Red Tide, the first part, it could have been way better. It was cute for me. It was cute. It wasn't up to the American Horror Story franchise standards for me, though. Okay? It was cute enough to watch and get my attention or whatever and get a little bit excited. But I wasn't as excited to watch it as I've been with other seasons in the past. I'm just saying. This part two, it really just cut me off, and I just said, no, girl, no, ma'am. So we pick up. Let's just get into it. 1972, Richard Nixon is president. They out there protesting the um, Vietnam War. He up there talking to Valiant, and he got this other guy up in there named Henry, okay? I said, I guess that's his little assistant or something like that. Basically, what's going on with that is he's upset. Like, why are we doing this war? Because y'all know, everybody said, if you go back in your history books and stuff, there was a lot of protests going on around the Vietnam War because everybody was like, why is America over there? Okay, what is the purpose, you know? And so there were protests going on and you got Nixon up here saying, why are we having this stupid war? And basically, Valiant is basically like, this is a distraction to... You know, so that the people won't have to worry about and be so much concerned about all these other people that's being abducted. Okay. Meanwhile, we noticed, you know, he was like, when is this thing supposed to be over with? Okay. Valiant said that, you know, the perfect specimen is supposed to come in 2021. I said, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. But, um... You know, at this point, they was like, he said, Nixon was like, listen, a war can't keep going on for 50 goddamn years, okay? Like, how we gonna do this, okay? And he was like, of course, it ain't gonna keep on going on for 50 years, but we got other things that can distract, okay? So don't even worry about that. Meanwhile, Henry over there, when Valley and Lee, he playing with his eye, talking about some, I'm sorry, dude, it's just probably uh allergies. He leave out, and he looking up in the mirror, he got something right here. And I said, nigga, it's them scales? And I said, wait a minute, what his eye look like that? His eye look like cat eyes, and then it looked like reptile eyes. And then I was like, which one is it? And then all of a sudden, he did like this, and it went back. And then them tongue came out. I said, bitch, you a reptile? What's going on? You another alien living amongst us with Valiant? What is happening? I'm thinking they on the same team. Girl, no. Anyway... Eisenhower, he up in the um on his deathbed looking at the TV and looking at all of this stuff and um basically upset at everything that's going on. And of course you got Mimi, his um wife that's like, listen, we about to don't even focus on that, okay? 
it is what it is. It's not as bad as you think it is. You know, she worrying about herself and what she put in place about uh, adults celebrating birthdays. And I said, this is how shallow people are. And that's what it goes to show how shallow some of these people that's up in high positions can be. You're worrying about implementing. And it's like, girl, go do something with your life. Okay. You up here worrying about implementing and, and, and getting people to celebrate birthdays, getting people to celebrate Halloween. And now you want to do evacuation day, you know, with the Boston tea party and all of that stuff. Okay. Meanwhile, your husband is up here just going back on all his things and just pissed off at the fact that he even allowed this whole treaty to happen and everything. And he just ready to go. Okay. They was trying to tell him, you ain't got to go out like this. You know, you can go to area 51 and we can be all to the good and you can be living forever, whatever. And he was like, no, after all the stuff that I did, uh, -uh it's time to go. Okay. So he eventually do pass away. Mimi, the wife, Mammy, she said, listen, I ain't finna do that. Okay. I ain't finna do that. Don't take me out like that. When I go, listen, I want to live forever. I don't want to go out like him, okay? That's not what's about to happen. Mind you, before he died, he told them to, y'all can have each other. Y'all good for each other at this point. <laughs> I said, what? Okay? Meanwhile, we get Nixon, and I was just looking at this. It's this program. Um, it's this program on Vice. It's a docu-series. Uh, for right now, I think it's six episodes and it's actually recording. I was looking at it actually before I started doing my reviews, um, you know, earlier today. And the first, no, the second episode, what was it? The first or the second episode? Either way, one of them was talking about Nixon, okay? And basically how that motherfucker was going a little stir crazy up in the White House towards the last uh, of his um, term, okay? And it was talking about, you know, how sometimes these presidents or whatever, these people in power, you got to watch them because they can put the country in danger or whatever. And so that's what made me think about this because he was going to look, you know, he was talking about this and talking about that, talking to himself and, oh, they can't do this and we got to get them out of here and all this stuff and woo, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I was like, oh, what's happening? That's when we find out that it's a competing, you know, um, alien, <laughs> it's competing alien people out here. Okay that, you know, going against the other aliens. I said, what? Now we throwing this in the mix? I said, now come on. <laughs> At this point, I said, wow. So it just couldn't be one species of aliens. It's another species of aliens that's out here. And, you know, they out here just taking people out. You know what I'm saying? And y'all competing against each other. It was just re really weird. You know, he's talking to this new guy because he wants everybody to know um, I don't know. It was just, it was just weird. It was weird. Girl, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry, you guys. It just, I didn't like the episode. I'm so sorry. And I'm trying to give it to you. And basically because Richard is going out of his mind and trying to make it seem like he's going out of his mind, they need to get him out of the White House. So what is it? A, what they said earlier? A distraction. They need to get him out, okay? So one of the distractions is Watergate. And if you know the history of Watergate and Deep Throat and, you know, the whistleblower and all of that Deep Throat, baby, they made it seem like Deep Throat was actually the president's wife, Eisenhower's uh, wife. I said, are you serious? This is what we're doing. <laughs> this is what we're doing. And, you know, Richard Nixon, he just real hardcore with it. Listen, he's staying firm. Y'all not finna get me out of here, okay? I, I see the mess that y'all doing, and you're not finna make me comply to it. I'm tired of it or whatever. Uh, Y'all want me to resign, but I'm not gonna resign. Because if you know what happened with Watergate, Gate, Watergate was the thing that got um Nixon to resign. He didn't get he didn't finish his full term i don't know if he was i can't remember if he was elected twice but he didn't finish his full term if he was elected twice and then the vice president had to come in for it to uh take over i believe girl history i gotta go back okay don't quote me but he did have to resign because of the watergate scandal baby look that up for my young people that ain't girl look it up okay a mess a mess all right Meanwhile, you know, at first he was thinking like, yeah, I'm going to do it. But then they was like, no, I ain't going to resign. So you got Valent and um, my boo up there talking to Mimi. And she was just like, listen, we're going to have to do something because this ain't going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen with him, but something going to happen. You're you, you going to have to fix this. Baby, next thing you know, while he was up in his office, uh, uh, the president 
all of a sudden, you know, when he said he wasn't going to resign, this white light came down. I said, uh-uh, y'all finna take him too. So now y'all finna say Richard Nixon was taken by the aliens too? Girl, yeah, taken, experimented on, and then all of a sudden he gets on the camera and he's out there putting out, reading a speech saying that he resigning, okay? Effective immediately at 12 noon, and then the vice president will be taking over right then and there. I said, what? And they um basically... They experimented on him and, you know, he was laying flat on his stomach. He was like, no, don't do that. Anything else but that. And then you hear Valiant say, Valiant was like, you know, it is so crazy how some people react to a basic procedure. So I'm like, was you tickling his prostate? Because, you know, some men, I don't understand why y'all get so clenched up in your throat when the doctor go and check your little prostate or whatever. It's medical, okay? He ain't trying to do nothing sexual to you. Calm that masculinity down, okay? We trying to make sure your ass stay here. But, you know, after that, he wind up resigning. Mimi just basically said it's time for her to go. You know, she been here because now it's like 1979, okay? She didn't outlive to her husband. It's time for her to go, okay? And so what they going to wind up doing is she going to pass away. They going to put it out there as if she passed away. But then she actually is going to go to Area 51 where they're, she's going to live forever, okay? And the reason why they picked Nevada and they stayed out there, this is what Valiant is saying, is because Area 51 looks just like their home planet. And so that's why they're thriving out there. So they go there. That's where she comes down and she sees everybody. Um, she's the only one in color, okay? We find out that her little robe and shit that she had on was pink. Um, later on in the future because she was still there when them kids got there too um so that's like over 50 years i was like girl over 30 years or something like that girl you still there i'd be bored as shit where y'all going who would want that life okay we can live forever but baby let me have something to do let me go outside let me do this let me go do that but you can't because technically you were supposed to be dead okay baby it is giving me very much death becomes her okay and if you've never seen death becomes her that is my movie motherfucking cheryl street and goldie <laughs> i have a hole in my stomach i'm not gonna talk to you until you put your head on straight <laughs> that is my movie okay show street is the go but uh anyway that's what it was giving me with that live long and all that stuff and going through the same thing over and over and over again and i was just like girl i wouldn't be able to do it if i gotta be stationed and just situated in this one freaking place okay ain't even know uh, it's the monotony of the day it would have just got ugh. Like, I don't even know what day it is, okay? Everything all white. She winds up meeting up with Calico, okay? Of course, Calico is fascinated with her because she's the uh, first lady, you know? Uh, one of the first ladies that she actually respected, you know? And so they form a friendship and they actually trade in secrets and all that. And next thing you know, we get to the present, okay? We get to the present. It's like cold red, cold red. The lights are bleeping. And, you know, they're trying to figure out what's going on. You got the uh, people in the armors, like SWAT team or whatever. They coming in there, armed men, trying to see what's the guards, trying to see what's going on. They uh, uh, looking at places and everything. And they go up into her room. And she was like, first of all, obviously, she still got some pull, okay? Because she told them... Um, excuse me, you don't come up in here and then you're not going to tell me exactly what's going on. What's happening? And so, old boy was like, sorry, ma'am. What happened is there possibly was a death, okay? Somebody got away, you know? And I was like, oh, what happened? Girl, they went into everybody's bedroom. They went into Kennedy and, um, Jamie's bedroom. Everything was cool. They go to the little moon landing set, okay, finally. And they go over there and they see Kyle and Toby, dead all right i said see that's what y'all get that's what y'all get where the hell was y'all gonna go with the specimen you weren't gonna be able to get out okay how would you people don't think you know they think anyway so they looking for they just looking around and at this point i don't even think that they knew that what they, what else they was looking for but baby uh baby alien 10874 came down with all of its tentacles on one of the guards and they just started lighting him up to light the baby up <laughs> I was like, what? I said, well, damn. He sacrificed himself for the good of the country, I guess. Girl, Miss um, 
Fifth Element, she came up in there and she was like, damn, overkill much? Okay, your job was to uh preserve the goddamn baby. That's what you could have did. Because when they told him that the guard got killed and she was she was like, I don't care. Uh, The baby was the one that we needed. I said, wait a minute. And he going to say, son, you know what? It's always darkest before the dawn. And me and him looked up. Now, I get the saying. But it was because I think she felt some way because, you know, she was black, you know. And I was just like, wait a minute, what's this? And he had to clear that shit up. He was like, it's just a saying that we say here on earth, okay? She was like, all right, okay, I'm going to get your saying. Next thing you know, this other team come up in there. He was like, what the B team coming up in here? Oh, because they just got promoted. Killed them all off. I said, oops, that's what we're doing here? Okay, killed them all off. Meanwhile, Jamie and, um, you know, Kennedy, they trying to understand what's going on, trying to find Cal and Toby. They going over there trying to talk to Calico. Girl, what's happening? Calico said somebody tried to break out, okay? This is the first time in, like, 20-plus years or whatever since somebody tried to break out, okay? Was it in 1992 or was it in 1982? Girl, I can't remember, but that's what happened. And I was like, Calico, Calico got all the tea because Calico been there forever, okay? You know, and she just calm with it. She just accepted her fate at this point. And I feel like that's what probably would have happened with a lot of people. You know, you 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 just feel like all hope is gone. You just accept the, accept the reality that you're given at this point. Okay? So they go around looking and they wind up going to the moon place or whatever. You would think that they would have cleaned that shit up. No, these motherfuckers come in there and they see the bodies around the corner. And they was like, oh my God, Toby Cow. Oh, Toby Cow. Oh my God. I said, girl, get the hell out. I said, girl, I know you're not cramping. She said, bitch, it's a contraction. I said, oh, Lord. And next thing you know, the other one. I said, uh-uh. No, not now. Not now. Y'all putting yourself in danger, girl. Y'all should have just stayed up in the room, girl. Bitch, next thing you know, Miss Fifth Element, she came up in there. She was like, sleep. I said, ooh. Okay. Wake me up while I'm up in the delivery room. And I said, um, what y'all finna do to them? So the men's had to get their baby cut out of them. The women's de de delivered the babies, you know, vaginally like everybody, like normal. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense unless it was some complication. And even if it was some complication, they probably would have just pulled the baby out. Okay? They looked like the rough type. But anyway, they get in there. They wake up. Of course, they still cramping and having contractions and stuff like that. And Miss Fifth Element, you know... That, listen, Kennedy keep on talking about we're going to get up out of here, okay? She holding fast, okay, girl? You ain't been there long or whatever, and so you really feel like you can get up out of there. And everybody else is like, no, this is not going to work. I'm just sitting here like, Kennedy, just sit there and just take it at this point because there's really nothing else that we can do. Deliver the baby, and maybe you will be a baby farm, and it's okay. Okay, that's sometimes we just got to accept the fate that we are given, okay? Miss Fifth Element came up in there and was like, one of y'all about to deliver the perfect specimen, okay? That's what it is, and y'all really doing a good service to your country okay you, you, you're compi combining and, and, and this perfect hybrid is about to come out jamie the black girl she went into labor first she delivered her baby they was like eh, no cut it open i said did you just cut the baby throat like that i said it's just I, I i can't get used to it okay she was like oh no my baby <laughs> my baby and they said you know the nurse came and slid out though i said wow so this is what we're doing Y'all didn't do that to the other one. Okay, y'all let Cal come up out here. Not Cal, but Toby deliver his baby and go back to the people. Y'all didn't kill him. Why y'all had to kill her? Okay, I mean, he died eventually on his own stupidity. But why y'all had to kill her? I just didn't understand that at that moment. Meanwhile, of course, Kennedy was pissed. You know, she scared. And then, you know, she talking all this stuff about how they finna get out. Girl, you ain't finna get out. Um, Miss Fifth Element had got tired of her, okay? She got tired of her talking, put her ass to sleep or whatever. And then she gave birth to the baby, and she wind up having the perfect specimen, okay, that they've been looking for for all these years. And at this point, it's 60 years that have been passed, okay? I said, whew, now we over this, so what's the next step, okay? And all of a sudden, the next step is, bitch, you no longer need it. Um, cause Kennedy was talking all this shit. So she just went on ahead and, um, slit her throat with a, a laser. I said, so how are we supposed to get some more if the baby, if, if the breeder is dead, according to you? It just didn't make sense. Up until they said, 
come on and review, uh, 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 you know, preserve the body. I said, now how are we supposed to do that? I was like, you know what? Why am I asking these questions? Y'all aliens, y'all got these technologies or whatever. So, hey, it is what it is. Okay. Y'all should know. Girl, they brought out this thing, put it on top of her body. And next thing you know, the rest of the body comes back to life and started breathing. And she pregnant again. I said, what? It's going on. It just doesn't make sense today. Okay. It doesn't make sense today. And then at this point, you know, they find out that, well, it's rumors going around, of course, that they have the special, t uh, because what happened was Mammy goes sit down, uh, and she's talking to Calico. It's her birthday. She's not too much enthused about it. I'm like, at this point, why do I care about my birthday? Because, listen, I'm not going to do nothing. And so they noticed that some of the doctors, or I should say the nurses, they just sitting there and they're just happy. And Calico was like, what's going on? And it was like, we got the perfect specimen. So, of course, Mammy, she had to get her ass up and go talk to Valiant, okay, about the whole situation. And I said, girl, you should have um, listened to your husband because... When things seems too good to be true and people say that they going to keep their word, 9 out of 10, they not, all right? And we saw this coming, okay? So now she about to have egg on her face because now he done told her, yeah, we've got the perfect specimen. We got the breeder that's going to go ahead and, you know, repopulate the earth or whatever. And she said, repopulate? Yeah, repopulate. We never said that we was going to share earth with y'all. We was using y'all home place as a place so us, we can, um, you know, we can live on here and sustain life on here, Okay. Uh, so now you might feel like a traitor to your people. She was like, Ike was right. Exactly. You should have listened to that man. That man wasn't going through all that turmoil just because he didn't want to be, he didn't want to be involved, baby. No, he had a reason. He just looked at the bigger picture. You was looking at short term, term and that alien dick just turned you out. That's what it was. Okay. I was like, uh-uh, Miss Mimi. Or whatever your name is, it's time to go for you, okay? You feel stupid. That man basically played you. Or I should say that alien played you. And it was like, yeah, we about to kill everybody on Earth because what y'all do for the Earth? Y'all ain't do shit, okay? Y'all just fucked it up. We finna come here and revitalize that shit. She was like, listen, I said, bitch, it was some other aliens on here competing. What about them? He said, listen, we never said that Um, we was going to take... And other aliens off, we said we weren't finna be up here with the humans, okay? Because what y'all can provide for us? Nothing. They got other technologies that we can use. Y'all can't give us shit. I said, well, you know what? Damn. <laughs> when you think about it, <laughs> it just make you feel so insignificant. I was like, oh, okay, well, I mean, at least. So, of course... You know, they already signed a treaty with the aliens and they got this um little pack going on, you know, and hey, it is what it is. So now um she up there trying to talk to Miss Fifth Element and get her on her stag, you know, try to make it seem like Miss Fifth Element. She made it seem like she didn't know what was going on, okay? She was like, Oh, you didn't know that they was just gonna kill uh people, or whatever, okay? And so of course, you know, she had to go to Calico and talk to her about everything that was happening, and we gotta take this in our own hands. And I was just like, You and what uprising? Okay, now how you gonna get through all of these people, these heavily armed guards and everything, and then these aliens that can use mind control to just kill you? okay like they even gotta touch you and they just go ahead and kill you bitch you could be sleep pop you're not gonna wake up again like i said mimi you're not thinking straight so they go up in there she thinking that miss lady miss fifth element is on her side um and i was thinking so at one point you know calico go up in there and basically what they want to do is kill the babies okay and i said why are we finna do this girl she was about to take the baby out and all of a sudden um miss fifth element said pause froze her ass and she said girl you really thought that i was finna flip for you no look at what y'all do humanity selfish as shit okay y'all don't even help your fellow men and a bitch like you wouldn't even open up the door for somebody that needed help i said you know what wow you didn't have to read us like that i mean yeah yeah okay and next thing you know miss mimi got her head blown off i said it was time for her to go it was time for her to go she been past the expiration date and it was like calico what you gonna do they 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 enticed calico about um her incentive was to be the mama for everybody okay these little things they gonna need some mamas okay and you know you been here for a minute so it's time for you to put your mother in skill this will be your reward i said bitch i can't even go outside and look at the sun but i can nurture all these goddamn alien ass babies so that's supposed to be my reward i supposed to be happy for that and um basically 
She said, cool. And that was the end of the episode. It was like three minutes left. It went on to commercial break. And I'm waiting for it to get off commercial. And then when it come off commercial, it is the credits. I said, so... That's how we going to end it? He said, yeah. I said, well, good night. Y'all, that was American Horror Story. I did not. I did not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't. Okay, I gave y'all as much as I could. But y'all tell me how y'all felt. <sighs> I'm going to go to bed. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. What it is to be up tomorrow, probably sometime in the afternoon. I might just record it at work, okay? Uh, I will see y'all later. Peace.